Hello everyone, I'm Sam from the operations team of Huawei AppTouch. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate required HMS core services into your app, which will be released on AppTouch. AppTouch supports three HMS core services. They are Account Kit, IAP, and Game Service. In this course, I will first talk about how to integrate Account Kit and IAP for your app. Account Kit supports several features, including sign-in using a temporary authorization code, Huawei ID sign-in using an ID token, silent sign-in, obtaining basic user information such as the profile picture, nickname, unique identifier, email address, sign-out, and authorization cancellation. Let's watch the videos on the right and learn about the sign-in authorization function of Account Kit. Sign-in authorization on AppTouch is different from that on AppGallery. The two videos will shed some light on the differences. First, you need to obtain the authentication mode icon and its information by calling the relevant API of Account Kit. The obtained information varies depending on the distribution channel. For example, the obtained text under the icon for App Touch is App Island Account, and that for App Gallery is Huawei ID. Let's move on to the sign in authorization page. When a user launches the app for the first time, the sign in authorization page is displayed. After the user signs in to the app successfully, the app can obtain user information, including the channel ID of the carrier and the authorization code. IAP supports multiple types of digital products, including consumables, non-consumables, and subscriptions. The service works on a wide range of device types, including mobile phones, tablets, vision products, and VR gadgets. With the sandbox testing function, you can test end-to-end -end payment functions without making any real payments. In addition, the service has aggregated global payment methods for a better payment experience. Of course, server-side APIs found subscriptions are available for you. Let's watch the videos on the right and learn about IAP integration for apps to be released on AppTouch and AppGallery. Here, I use consumables as an example. The payment process is similar for other product types. Product types defined in the product management system for the two distribution channels are basically the same. They only differ in client-side code. Touch to play two videos. Let's move on to the checkout page differences between AppTouch and AppGallery. When a user taps consumables, you can call the isEnvironmentReady method and pass true to support AppTouch, so you can obtain information about the current carrier, including the carrier ID. When a user taps a product on the consumables page to go to the checkout page, you can find that AppTouch supports mobile payment and AppGallery supports third-party payment methods, bank card, and other payment methods.